good evening and welcome back to another Talking Technical. And of course, um, as we know, the markets are very unsure. Um, we can see the S&P 500 is trying to find its feet. Our market is trying. But, um, the problem is I'm seeing some higher lows in these markets maybe developing but on the other hand, I'm seeing head and shoulder formations and, and that makes me nervous on these indexes because what that tells you that these indexes can maybe trigger us all into buy and then suddenly starts to sell off. So um, let's focus on individual shares because I believe that we almost in an area where we're going to see um, what we can say a stock picking market and a stock picking market is a difficult market because sometimes you believe that you've got the right share and suddenly you realize oopsie I'm wrong but the beauty is then we've got something like we call a stop loss now the first request was because of Air Canada now, Air Canada because um, a lot of our readers and viewers and I've got some clients that relocated to Australia and to Canada and to America and this is one of the requests that I've got is from Air Canada. Now, Air Canada, one thing is for sure, the market sold it off. It's almost from $26 all the way down to $16.23. But what I don't like about it, it's that we're seeing some lower highs. There's a high, lower high, lower high. That tells you that the momentum is clearly to the downside. On the other hand, what I do like about it is, uh, look at this formation here. There's the resistance line. Oopsie, Daisy. And there's the resistance line all the way taking it to the downside. I just want to draw it in for you guys and ladies, of course. Uh, there you are. There's the trend. Clearly to the downside. And um, there's a little bit of a support line there. And what do we see? We see immediately we see a falling wedge. Now, a falling wedge is a positive uh, formation that usually trigger and it usually gives you a beautiful relief rally. But on the other hand, a, a positive formation like you see here, falling wedge, is only positive when this resistance line that we see here turn into a support. And that is going to be turning into a support at 1654. Above 16.54, I think that we can maybe see a move to the upside. And there's something very important about a falling wedge. A falling wedge is usually triggering a rapid move to the top. So above 16.54, we can go to 17.54, and my target will be 17.89. That's about a dollar and forty cents from here. But where's my stop loss? My stop loss is going to be a stop loss of 15.93. Just the other day, I called a, a trade on the S&P, and um, I had to go into a meeting. First of all, my stop loss was a little bit big when I entered, and my profit margin was also nice and comfortable to the upside because it was a long. But on the other hand, when I realized that I needed to go into a meeting, what did I do? I immediately narrowed my profit margin, and I made my stop loss tight. So what happened, I know that you cannot lose money. I went to the meeting, I came back and I took my six points. I think it was six points on the S&P. So I was quite happy. But on the other hand, my stop loss gave me, you can almost say, the security that I know that even if I'm wrong, I'm going to lose a little bit of money. But on that trade, it worked out well. So the same thing with normal shares. If you have a share and you buy it, and you're a little bit nervous, make your, top, your stop loss nice and tight, and on the other hand, make your profit margin not too big, so both sides you can win. Well, that's the story of Air Canada. Our next request is Papa Bonds International, and they listed on the NASDAQ, and by the way, we get many viewers nowadays that concentrate on overseas markets. Um, but I think they tend to forget that our market also has some wonderful diversified companies that is trading um, and doing business around the world, and they listed here. But on the other hand, I mean, if you've got a request, I will happy to serve you. Well, if you look at Papa John's International, same thing. The trend is to the downside. Let's have a look here. There's the trend. 
the downside and here you are you see it's a beautiful descending channel some guys will say it is a falling wedge but for me this gap is a little bit too big if i compare it to that i would like to have a narrow gap at the at the falling wedge but on the other hand but john's international looks very interesting because it almost just broke above for that 55.73 that is positive that tells you that maybe papa john's is starting to turn around and of course what i like about the share there's the low there's a higher low there's another higher low and then it broke this resistance line and now it's a support so i will yes i will say yes buy it above the support line Make use of your stop loss of $80.65 just to save. That's about $6 from here, so it's not the, end, not the end of the world. And where can it go to? Let's do the sum. There's the width of the channel. Just do that same sum there. And the moment you project it to the top, it can go all the way up. There's your resistance. I can actually show you. If you just get that one back there, look where it takes us to. The previous resistance and that will be the target of this channel descending channel if it breaks to the top and it stays above that support line we can maybe go all the way back 10605 this is a nice chart thank you for that request and maybe some of the other viewers can make use of it by the way um, we do a lot of an, an, analyzing work for our clients and for people that's not clients that just drop us an email but i mean papa john's Great call. Thank you, guys. I hope we're all correct. I like the share. Thank you. Let us look at Harmony Gold, local company. Uh, they've got some mines across the world, and um, the Harmony is a big company in South Africa, a marginal mine producer. By the way, what is a marginal mine producer? That is a company that works on mines where the, you can almost say the market or the kind of gold that they take out there is not of high quality it's usually a marginal mine so what it means is that your grade of the gold is maybe two or three grams per ton where some of your bigger mines i mean like the old anglo gold mines i've been on some of those mines like the old valries when they were in operation there were some mines there that offered almost 18 19 grams a ton now uh, harmony gold is a marginal mine sometimes work at low grades and um, well what do we see the share was sold off all the way from 82 rand right down to 48 rand 46 but now it's trying to work a little bit higher and you see all these higher lows there's a low there's a higher low there's another one there's another one but i want to show you something what worries me is look at this though we're going to look at those higher lows look at this flag here now this flag it's a typical bearish flag. So what it tells you, it can work a while and then it can break through because we've seen that before. There was another one. I just want to show you. There's the one. Everybody was sucked in. Everybody thought, wow, it's a good buy. We can buy the share. It's going to give us a little bit of a bounce. And what do we see? It broke down. So in a market like what we're seeing now, we must concentrate a lot on formations because formations sometimes tell us well in advance not to buy or to buy so for me what is the story with harmony if it breaks below 51.33 it can actually go down all the way to 48.47 that's not nice but on the other hand let's say this is the start of a beautiful relief rally and we're seeing higher lows here because we haven't seen a, high, a lower high here already it's all higher lows but above this little level and there's the level above 53.96 we can maybe see this beautiful turnaround in harmony gold and then it can give us a beautiful bounce to the loss where's my stop loss i'm going to put my stop loss right below that little level there there you are i'm going to put my stop loss there at 15.99 to protect my capital and if it breaks below that then i know i play safe on the other hand i know there's a lot of guys that says that these gold shares had wonderful rallies and it's time to short them now on my side i will not short the share already when it went from 80 to 52 i know there's a lot of analysts that say yes you must short it all the way to the downside um, i try to short it 
if it goes in a Lampel formation, it rallied way and it's stochastic and RSI and all those indicators are well stretched. That is for me sometimes easier to short in because at that point in time, everybody believes that nothing can go wrong. And that's exactly the point where it turns around and then you see many, many lower highs. So um, that's the story. Let's see if Harmony can give us a buy or a sell order. Well, last week we looked at Ferrari. That's for the, the wealthy guys. And um, now we're going to look at Harley Davidson. That's also for the wealthy guys. Um, so what do we see here? I mean, share all the way uh, high, lower high, almost a double top there going down. And um, I mean, if you want to buy it, I'll again use the same old method. It sounds boring, but it works. And if it works, I'm not going to change it or, or change my method. And what do we see? We see uh, a beautiful falling wedge again. Uh, there's the levels, and it's trying to find its feet. What is the golden rule here? If you see this blip outside the chart and it comes back, the best is you must take out that high, and there's the high. I know our time is up, so I'll rush through it. The high is there, um, 32.96, it will trigger a buy. My stop loss will be at 31.38, and where's my target? It can actually go all the way up to 35.41, and maybe if we're lucky, all the up to 36.40. So, Holly Davison, um, maybe an opportunity, a speculative buy um, out of this falling wedge. Always stick to your stop loss, stick to your target, and the other thing is if you do put in your target and it gets triggered, just say thank you so much and looking for something else. Well, visit our website www.franseclair.com for more info and we will chat again.